Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Unit Reviews. If you don't know what this series is, this is a series where you guys show me your units and I rate them on a scale of 1 to 10 to determine how good they are. And we're trying to see who has the best characters in Genshin Impact. Let's get into the video. Also, before we get into that, I just like to tell you guys that if you want to get your own account review, you can go and check out my Discord. The link will be in the description below. I also leave a pin comment. If you want to get your own unit reviewed, all you have to do is join, go to the unit review channel, and there will be a message in the pin section there. All you have to do is follow the instructions given there, send the message in the unit review section, and your unit will be submitted for review. Anyways, with that being said, let's get into the video. First up, we have One Kill Foxy, and they wanted me to review their Ayato. Let's see, what are we working with here? Level 90 Ayato, 1700 attack, not too bad. 20k max HP, okay, let's see the weapon. Black Sword, uh, I think that's one of his best free-to-play options. Not free-to-play, but low spender options. Artifacts, you are running the four Echoes of the Offering. I won't lie, this is a bit of a niche set for him. I know it was technically made for him, but uh, this effect isn't the greatest since it's RNG based. So you can get it some of the time and then you just won't get it other times. Just some more optimization you can do. You can use the four piece Heart of Death or you can use the four piece Gladiator set. Those are two really good options and I definitely recommend switching to those. Constellation zero, that's okay. And eight, 10, nine, you tend his E, okay. Good stuff, that's what we like to see. So, I'm like 99% confident you don't need to level up his normal attack. I think this might have been a waste. Unless you want to have the most optimal Ayato, you don't need to level up his normal attack. His normal attack really does not provide any value, but we'll move on from that. Obviously, we're judging this on just how good the Ayato is in it itself, so this will not affect your rating at all. It's just a little niche saying, you, are, you just don't need to do it. But if you are trying to build a perfect Ayato, then I respect it. Let's see these pieces here. What are we working with? An okay Sans two crit rate rolls. Okay, maybe not okay. That's a little less than okay. That's pretty bad. Um, well, that's a lot of crit damage. Almost 30% crit damage. Some EM, some HP. Not a bad piece. Just missing crit rate. If this had a crit rate roll instead of flat HP, it'd be a pretty good piece. That's a really nice piece. That is four good stats for Ayato. Plus it rolled mostly crit rate, crit damage. A couple low crit damage rolls, but still a good piece. And then kind of a niche piece at the end here, only 5% crit rate. And the last thing, ooh, that's a solid piece. That is 40% crit value right there. That is a really, really solid Hydro Damage Cup. Let's see the split. 64, 217, um, that makes sense. You do have the Black Sword. Without the Black Sword, this drops to like 30 something. You don't have a lot of crit rate just from artifacts, which is a little unfortunate. What's your... I mean, 31%. Actually, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. Still a little low, though. 120 recharge, 46% hydro damage bonus. All around, a pretty decent Ayato. I'd say this Ayato is definitely, like, one of the more, you know, base Ayatos I've seen. Just a very, very solid Ayato. I'd say this Ayato is a solid 7.5 out of 10. Let's move on to the next build. Moving on, we have E the Duck, and they wanted me to review their Ayaka. Let's see here. They have specified that they are free to play, so I'm interested to see what we are going to see here. Um, we have 1900 attack, 17k HP, 1000 defense, 1000 defense. Surely not. Aminoma Kaguchi, not a bad weapon. We're going to be seeing a lot of defense percent on these pieces. How much do you get from, from stats alone? Defense, plus 352. That's, uh, that's quite a bit. That's quite a bit of defense. And six, five, seven on the talents. Not the highest talents I've ever seen. Definitely a little low if you're if you're maining Aika. But what AR are you? Fifty six. Yeah, those those could be a little higher. You only, ha I mean, I guess you only have our level eighty, so the max you could take him to is eight, anyways. But I do recommend taking your Aika to level ninety at some point. Now let's see these defense percent pieces. Crit damage, some ER, not a terrible piece. You could still probably improve it, but all around it's a, it's a decent piece. Again, 10% crit rate, uh, not the best piece in the world, but not a bad piece either. You have some attack percent and the defense percent. I'm starting to see how you're getting to a thousand defense on your Ayaka. More defense rolls, a lot of flat defense on this piece. <laughs> that's a f I think that's three flat defense rolls and one flat attack roll. Oh boy, this is a copium piece. This is a good piece. 
Another, I think you, do you have defense percent on every piece? Not, not the hat. Oh, wow. Wait, hold up. Wow, that's a good piece. This is definitely the best piece by far out of all your pieces. This is better than any hat on my whole account. This is nuts. Yeah, this is a really, really good hat. That's two energy recharge rolls, high ones too, and three really high crit rate rolls. That is a solid piece. This piece is absolutely nuts. But other than that, uh, the pieces are a little lacking. And considering the fact that you're not running a crit stat on your weapon, I can't imagine your ratio is the best ever. Yeah, 39, 197. Obviously, you are running for Blizzard, so it makes up for it a little bit. You get like an extra, like, honestly, 40% crit rate just from Blizzard. Plus, if you're running two Cryo Resonance, you get even more. So, it's fine. Obviously, trying to optimize your crit damage would probably be beneficial. But overall, not a bad Ayaka. Considering your talents are a little low, and you don't have her at level 90 yet, I'm going to give you a pretty solid 6.9 out of 10. Let's move on to the next build next up we have james and they wanted me to review their arataki ito let's see here level 90 arataki ito 2000 defense 1000 attack not too shabby weapon red horn stone thresher that's what we like to see ito best in slot weapon um, an insane weapon at that 88 percent crit damage is absolutely crazy best in slot artifact set good stuff c1 ito maybe like a tiny bit of a whale then not like a huge whale actually i don't even know what this does maybe that maybe you just got lucky and got two itos and if you did respect let's see your talents 10 10 10 on the talents ran for a absolute killer ito today let's check out these pieces this is where it's going to count i'm already seeing a perfect ito uh, just off the weapon the constellation and the talents it would be a 10 out of 10 ito but we have to see the artifacts let's see here damn that's a good piece that's that's like a that's really really nice obviously em isn't useful for ito em doesn't really provide any value on a geo unit other than increasing shield strength so i, I honestly it'd be preferred if this em was like attack percent maybe but other than that this is like a perfect piece you really can't get better than this the hat another crazy piece hold up bro this ito's crazy 62 percent crit damage 11 percent crit rate two crack pieces off the bat obviously flat defense what are you gonna do but it is ito so defense still matters it'd just be preferred if it was like defense percent instead of flat defense next piece the flower another damn good piece 12 percent crit rate 7 percent crit damage it still goes above 30 crit value so it's still a solid piece definitely not as good as the last two though let's see the feather oh is that 15 percent crit rate uh this looks really nice because it's 30 percent crit value but it's still i'm gonna be honest it's not the greatest piece in the world like your flower and other pieces were better than this obviously getting four crit rate rolls is nuts but if this just had crit damage on it or another defense percent roll or something like that it'd be so much better because em er and a flat hp just aren't that useful for ito other than energy recharge i guess it's a, not bad and the last piece, the goblet, an inset goblet. So geo damage bonus goblet. Wait, you're running five piece husk? Damn. Oh, oh my gosh, you got this on set? How? That's crazy that you have this on set. That's that's above 30 crit value on an on set geo goblet. Damn, man. But you are running five piece husk, which means you can swap out one of these pieces. I'd recommend swapping out this. It's not a bad piece, don't get me wrong, but. It can definitely be improved upon. I, I guarantee you probably have a better feather on your account somewhere. So other than that, I really have no critiques for you. I mean, your Edo is nearly perfect. What's your split? 74 to 50? Oh my gosh. That's crazy. This is probably the best Edo I've seen ever. I'm going to have to give you a 9.8 out of 10. You're almost perfect. The only thing I could see optimizing is switching out this feather for like an off piece and just trying to optimize the crit ratio just a little more. But your Edo is absolutely crazy. Let's move on to the next build. Next up, we have Zhang Li, and they wanted me to review their Kli. Let's see here. Kli, 23,000 HP, which is quite a lot of HP, I won't lie. 1600 attack, not too shabby. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not that experienced in Klee, so anything I say, take with a grain of salt, because my Klee is still at level 20. Let's see the weapon. Witsith, not a bad choice. I think Witsith is her best in slot weapon right now, if I'm not mistaken. Artifacts, four piece wanderers. Um, I think Crimson Witch or Lava Walker's just better. But I want the four piece wonder still works. And also you can get this set really easily just from farming bosses. Nothing wrong with that. 
uh constellation zero okay and 10 8 7 on the talents obviously i'm gonna assume that you're going for 10 10 10 but not the perfect talents which is okay let's check some of these artifacts the flower this is your off piece uh for being an off piece it's not that great it does have 67 flat defense which you know is 67 flat defense but it still peaks over 30 crit value i think or no just it's just barely underneath or no it reaches 30 but just barely it's an okay piece 11 percent crit rate is still nice um it's decent i mean not good it it, it barely reaches 25 crit value it's it's an okay piece it's it's an okay piece that's all i can say some attack percent sure a little bit of hp i can see where you're getting the all the hp from on your clee oh boy that's a lot of defense that's two defense rolls one flat defense roll two crit damage um again not the best piece not a bad piece though an hp sands well there we go that's why you have 23k hp uh a bit of an odd choice i won't lie uh yeah i mean i definitely switch this up and go for pyro damage bonus i don't think klee gets anything from hp percent there's no point to running hp percent on klee even if it is on set this four piece effect just isn't worth it if you're running an HP% percent goblet, you use so much value not having a pyro damage goblet. And honestly, there's no way that you don't just have a better Wanderer's Flower. Like, it's a flower. You can get any guaranteed substat on it you want. You don't have to worry about the main stat. So, swap this out for some sort of Wanderer's Flower would be my suggestion. And then just get any pyro damage bonus goblet you have, and you'll be on the right track. Again, another okay piece. A lot of flat HP. Your Kali has so much HP. Maybe you're just dying a bunch. Maybe that's the problem. You know what? Maybe you need the HP percent. I will not judge too harshly. All around, uh, an okay Kali. I've definitely seen better in my time in Getchen. Uh, the talents are good, but not great. Artifacts leave something to be desired. The weapon is perfect. I other than maybe having an R5, you can't really do much with this. So all around a decent Klee. I'm going to give you a 6.5 out of 10 on your Klee. Let's move on to the next build. Next up, we have Lily, and they wanted you to review their Sino. They say they are a Sino main. Let's see. This, char this character just came out. So if you already have a good one, I'm shocked. Because my Sino sucks. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see here. 21k HP. Man, everybody today just has high, really high random stats. Uh, what's your weapon? His best in slot, the Staff of the Scarlet Sands. Good choice. Artifacts. You have two-piece Thundering Fury, two-piece Gilded Dreams. Not a bad choice. Obviously, four-piece Thundering Fury and four-piece Gilded Dreams. We'll outclass this just a tiny bit, but still, this is not a bad option at all. Constellation, zero. And talents are nine, ten, ten. Why do you nine is normal attack? I mean, I get it. If you're trying to go for the perfect Sino, sure, you're a Sino main. You just want to claim that you have the best Sino possible. Then you know what? You do you, man. But obviously, this is this is a waste of mass. Sino's normal attack provides no value to him at all. And I don't suggest doing this. But you're trying to have the perfect Sino. So I understand the grind. Let's check these artifacts. First up, we'll check your off piece. For being an off piece, not that good. 28% crit damage is nothing to laugh at. But I could definitely see you getting better for an off piece. Let's check the feather. That's tough, man. Uh, 40% elemental mastery. Uh, three good stats for him, and you only rolled into the good stats too. However, you're missing crit rate on this piece. Only 18% crit damage. Uh, not the greatest. But again, you only rolled into good stats, so it's not a terrible piece. Sands. Uh, it leaves something to be desired. It's not the best I've seen. 11% crit rate. Uh, sure, dude. It's it's EM. I know EM's good for Sino, so. Yeah, it's not a terrible piece. Definitely not the best piece in the world, though. That's pretty damn good for being on set. Wait, holy crap, you got this on set? I'm always shocked when somebody has a 30 plus crit value piece on set. Yeah, no, this piece is really good. Again, I can see why you're why you have a lot of HP. This piece has HP percent flat HP, HP percent flat HP, HP percent. Yeah, you have HP percent on almost every piece. It makes sense why you have so much. But again, this is a really good piece. Definitely the best piece we've seen so far. And the hat. A pretty damn good piece. This is a solid piece. 10% crit rate, 10% attack, 33 flat attack. Not a bad piece at all. This is a really, really nice piece for your Sino. Now, I already know your ratio is about to be nuts because you have one of the best weapons in the game. Yeah, 85 to 03, that's about what I expected. Obviously, you could do with a little more crit damage, and your stats are fairly carried by this weapon right here. 
but it's still not bad overall. 36 crit rate, 115 crit damage. Like, it's not terrible. It's not terrible at all. Plus, you have, you basically have perfect talents. We'll say you have perfect talents because you basically do. All around, a very, very good Sino. I say this is definitely one of the better Sinos I've seen so far. And since this character just released, it's really hard to build them up quickly. So honestly, respect to you for that. So just for that, I'm going to give you a solid 9.2 out of 10. Let's move on to the next build. Okay, I think we have our last review of the day here. And it's going to be our friend Ray. Let's see here. They wanted me to review their Amber. So we're going to be in for a ride here. A level 90 Amber. 1700 attack. Is this going to be a main DPS Amber or a support Amber? I'm interested here. Let's see. Main DPS Amber. Oh, no. I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for main DPS Amber. Four Piece Wanderers Troop. Yep. 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 Constellation. Now, I'm interested to see the Constellation here. Is it going to be C0? C4? Damn, bro. You got four Constellations? You must roll a lot on the standard banner. And Talents. 10, 10, 10. Oh, my goodness gracious. Boys, we have the perfect Amber here. Her best than slot weapon for main DPS, I believe. Uh, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I, I believe this is a rest and slot. I also believe this are, is her best and slot artifact set for running main DPS. Constellation 4, which isn't perfect, but it's respectable, and we don't judge on constellations here. And perfect talents. It all comes down to the artifacts. Let's see what we're working with here. Feather. Oh no. <laughs> oh, we're going to be in for a, for a, an absolute stinker here, aren't we? I, I mean, it's not, it's not bad. I mean, 50 ADM, 14% crit value, and 16% energy recharge. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's fine. Uh, oh boy. That's a good piece. That's a really nice piece. 42 EM, 7% crit damage, 11% crit rate. Yeah, that's not a bad piece. Definitely a, a huge improvement from that feather. Leaps ahead of the feather. Another damn good piece, not something to, to laugh at at all. 9.3% crit rate, low crit rate rolls. That's okay though. 37 EM, not a bad piece. This is a solid, solid Amber piece. The offset piece, which I imagine is going to be Pyre damage bonus. It is 13% crit damage, 9% crit rate, 5.8 attack. This is a really nice Pyro damage piece. Actually, this is better than any Pyro damage cup on my own account. So I have to respect this piece. It's not the greatest in the world, but it's a really, really solid piece. Lastly here, we're going to look at the sands. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, you got 23 EM. Again, I think you got EM on every single piece, didn't you? Yeah, you have EM on every single piece, which is good because EM is useful for Amber. Uh, what's the, what's the split going to be then? 49, 235. I'd like to see a little more crit rate overall. Maybe you're just damage testing right now. I know that's happened in some other videos that i've done where i reviewed somebody's character while they're damage testing them so maybe you usually run like a crit rate weapon on her like skyward harp or something i know that's again another good weapon for amber but not a bad ratio i mean 50 percent crit rate you're doing 50 percent of the time you're doing like a big big hits but only 50 percent of the time all around i'd say a really good amber the only thing you could really approve upon of, of course is your crit ratio just getting a few more optimal pieces here like changing from this feather but all around a good amber your, your ratio is okay. You got all the perfect things. You have perfect talents. A pretty damn good weapon. I'm going to give your Amber a 9 out of 10. With that being said, we are going to end the video here for today. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more in the future, please consider subscribing or leaving a like down below. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.